hello guys and welcome again to my channel okay so in this video i want us to look at how to run a three-phase motor on a single phase supply by using a capacitor just a capacitor okay so in a previous video i showed how to start and run a three-phase motor by using a variable frequency drive yes that is one way you can run a three-phase motor with a single phase supply but then today in this video we are going to look at a cheaper way of running a three-phase motor with just two lines i mean single phase live and neutral okay so these are two lines one for live and then one for neutral there is a three-phase motor as you can see you have one two three so this requires three-phase supply to power it but then in cases where you want to run a small three-phase motor on single phase supply due to the unavailability of three-phase supply sure there is a way you can do that and that is what we are actually going to look at so in this video i want us to look at how to run a three-phase motor on a single phase supply by using a capacitor if you really want to do this you have to be patient and listen carefully to the instructions and the steps. All right. So there are a few ways that a three-phase motor can be run on single-phase supply. Well, but before I delve into this topic, you must be aware that there are potential risks of damaging your three-phase motor as a result of overheating and other electrical hazards in attempting to run a three-phase motor on a single-phase supply without the proper knowledge and safety precautions. So then, if you really want to do this on your own, you must be patient, listen carefully, and go according to the instructions that I'm going to give in this video. All right, so basically there are two common methods that we can use to run a three-phase motor on single-phase supply. One method is by using a capacitor, and then the second method is by using a variable frequency drive. But between these two, the variable frequency drive method is the most recommended and versatile option because the variable frequency drive provides near to optimum motor performance with simple single phase input. And the same VFD can be used to vary the speed of the motor. So a VFD can help you to safely supply your three phase motor with just single phase supply. At the same time, it can also help you to vary the speed of the motor. And they also provide soft starting. All right, so I have already made a video on how to wire a VFD to a single phase supply to run a three phase motor and how to control the speed of the motor with the same VFD. And I have actually shared that video under the description of this one. So please, if you have not watched that video yet, you can look for it amongst the videos I have shared under the description of this very one so that you can watch. All right, so now let's delve into how to use a capacitor to run a three-phase motor on a single-phase supply. Okay, so first of all, the connection here is in star. So we would have to connect it in delta. So let's do that. We go step by step. The first thing we do is to make sure our motor is connected in delta configuration. So obviously we can't use any size of capacitor at all to start any size of three-phase motor. And so the little trick is that for every one kilowatt, use a 70 microfarad capacitor. But in this case, this motor is rated 370 watt. All right, so now let's do the calculation and find out the appropriate capacitor that can help us to start this motor. Okay, so one kilowatt is 70 microfarad which means that for every 1,000 watts, 
you need to use 70 microfarad. In our case, we have 370 watt. So then if 1,000 is equal to 70 microfarad, 370 will be equal to a capacitor that we don't know. Let's represent that unknown capacitor with C. So now our C will be equal to 370 watt by 70 UF divided by 1,000 watt. And that gives us 25.9 microfarad. So we need a 25.9 microfarad capacitor to be able to start this motor using a single phase supply. This is a capacitor I'm using for this demonstration. And then you can see here, this is 25 microfarad plus or negative 5%. So this has a tolerance of plus or minus 5% which means that this can perfectly help us to start this three-phase motor using a single-phase supply. Okay, so this is the capacitor, and then this is our two lines. This is live, this is neutral. Here, already we have our terminals connected in delta configuration. So all we need is to connect our supply to these terminals. Now, look carefully. This is how the connection is going to be done. First, we can connect our live here. Then we add one lead from the capacitor to the live here. And then our neutral comes here. And then the other cable from the capacitor goes to where the third line should have been. So we have live plus one lead from the capacitor. Then we have neutral. And then we have the other lead of the capacitor connected here. Okay, so now I have to tighten these cables to the terminals correctly. Okay, so now our connections are done. So this is live from a single phase supply. This one lead from the capacitor. This is neutral. And this is the second lead from the capacitor. Okay, so now let's supply power. And let's see what happens to our 370 watt three phase motor on a single phase supply. Um, I'm going to use this card on the router so that you can see the rotation. All right, so now let's see what happens to our three phase motor on a single phase supply. This is a capacitor. This is actually what is doing the whole magic. All right, so let's start the motor and see what happens. On. Wow, exactly. So this single phase supply, live and neutral, with a capacitor running our three phase motor. This is normally supposed to be run on three phase supply. But here, with the help of this capacitor, we are able to run this motor using just single phase. But then this is an advice I'm giving you. You can rely on this method to test run your three-phase motors or to run your three-phase motors for a short time. For permanent operation of your three-phase motor, it is not actually advisable to depend on this method. So if you want a reliable means to use single-phase supply to control your three-phase motor, the best way to go is to use the variable frequency drive. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do well to do so, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. And please, if you like what you have just watched, kindly hit on the like button, share this video with your friends, and stay connected. See you in my next video.